Greetings from Primata. My name is George, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Kali's reverse osmosis system. Let's unbox the system and have a look at what it contains. Let's remove this. This is the instruction manual, so in case you need anything in the future, you can always come back to this book and have a look. Uh, here is the faucet. We're going to need this later. This is the spare mem membrane, which you'll have to install. This is the main uh, reverse osmosis system. And there are lots of extra tubes and uh, uh, bunch of stuff, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Now, this is the, the Kali's reverse osmosis. And as you can see, if you press here with your finger, you can open this door. Now, you can see the first three cartridges of this system. The first one uh, is a polypropylene filter or a sediment filter with uh, permeability of 5 microns. It can actually reduce a bunch of uh, stuff like uh, dirt and sediment and it actually protects the next two stages from clogging. Now in the second stage there is an activated carbon filter which reduces chlorine, chloroform and a wide list of uh, chemicals. And in the third stage, we can see a CTO or an activated carbon block filter with a permeability of 0.5 microns. It uh, reduces a Vox, volatile organic compounds, heavy metals, and a wide list of dangerous chemicals. Now, all the cartridges in this system are quick change, which means that you can actually change the filters quite easily. Let's, uh, I'm going to show you now how to do that. You simply turn the cartridge anti-clockwise with your hand and just pull it downwards. You'll hear this click and that's how you remove the cartridge. If you want to insert the new one, you simply just press the cartridge with your hand and turn it clockwise. As simple as that. That's it. And then you can close the door. Now, these are already pre-installed. On the side of the central unit, we need to remove this cap. In order for us to do it, we have to remove this. Unscrew this using a screwdriver. That's it. And then pull this with your hand. That's it. Now here, we can see the water tank. It actually uh, has the ability to contain 8 liters of water. The first thing to do is uh, turn the tank on. If it's closed, like that, let me just turn this, yep, like that, now it's in the off position. If you want to turn the tank on, and let it be filled with water, simply push it with your hand and let it be parallel with the tube. Now it's on. These black things, that are the plastic ones, are the low and high pressure protections, which means that when there's no water in the system, then the system will not work. And when the tank is full, then the system again will stop working because the tank is full. This is the pressure regulator and it keeps your system work, per work perfectly fine for many, many years to come. Now, this is the fifth stage, which is a bacteriostatic uh, activated carbon filter, which uh, is the last stage of the water filtration process. And in this position, you have to insert the membrane. In order to do that, obviously, you have to remove this. Again, uh, like the other filters, just push with your hand and rotate clockwise and then put it here and this is the position of the membrane. Now another cool thing about Kali's reverse osmosis is this one. This is the water stop and what it does is when it uh, detects water leakage it stops your system from working. Now in order for you to, to make this work you need, and let me check the packaging, You need this. 
This is a pressurized material, pressurized special material that looks like a pill. What you have to do is remove the packaging from this, let's call it pill, and put it here. And when you place it here, just put the trigger downwards like that. And now the system is on. What, we do, what this does is when, when there's water around this pressurized materials, this material bloats, and when it starts bloating, it simply does this to the trigger, to the trigger, and then the whole system stops working. Now, when you put the membrane, this is the last thing you you have to set up. You simply put this. Let me show you on the bottom of the membrane, and now your system is set up. Now, on the back of this reverse osmosis, we have the drain connection and you have to put a tube from here to your drain, the kitchen drain, and you can always follow the instruction on the book for that, it's pretty easy. Here is the faucet exit, which means that the tube from here goes to your faucet, the deluxe one that is included with the packaging. Uh, and the feed water in is we have to, to insert the tube from here to your feed water connection under your kitchen counter. And that's it. And of course this one, sorry, This one is the power source for the electric pump. And that's it. You're good to go. Do, do not hesitate to contact us should you need any assistance. Thank you very much.